great for a parade of champions. And that's exactly what New York City had today, a ticker tape parade up the canyon for heroes for the New York Liberty, which are the WNBA champions. Just amazing. An estimated 10,000 fans lining up to cheer on the team. Celebration continued at City Hall after that, along with being given keys to the city. And it continues tonight as well at their home base, the Barclays Center. This is a live picture from Newscopter 7. You can see the crowds are already joining them. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim on the ground for us with the very latest and what's going on down there. And I see you down there, Stefan. Well, Bill, the fans at the front of this line arrived more than four hours before this celebration even tips off. And most of them went to the parade and City Hall. They say this is an all day party because this is history. Yes! <laughs> I was at the parade. I was on the stage with everybody. I watched every historical moment with all the OGs that came up and celebrated. I went to the parade. I went to the City Hall. And now I'm here for the Barclay. Studio! If there were ever any doubts about New York Liberty fans' dedication outside Barclays, those doubts have been put to rest. South Carolina, I drove 13 oh, wow. hours. I drove last night, no sleep, just to come see the Liberty. I've been watching Sabrina and all the girls, and they did me proud. They almost gave me a heart attack, but I love them. I love them. Rhonda Smith drove from Maryland. I'm loving the black and green, the mint colors. I even have the mint sneakers. <laughs> the Liberty faithful came to see this and to see them. A sea of mint green flooded lower Manhattan for a ticker tape parade through the Canyon of Heroes to celebrate the Liberty's first ever championship. Let's go Liberty! Really exceeded all of my expectations, but I just feel so much love for the team, for the fans. Shout out to the fans because this parade is incredible and I'm so happy to be here and I'm happy I came to New York and brought the first championship home. The party then headed over to City Hall with Liberty legend Teresa Weatherspoon on hand as the players got keys to the city. There are only two types of Americans those who live in New York and those who wish they could. They're an inspiration to all of us and not just the thousands of little girls who now can see themselves as possibly rising up to this great position or knowing that there's nothing they can't do. And that right there sums up what makes this moment so special. History unfolding before our eyes in our city.